hello welcome back in this session of ori 17 development tutorials we are going to discuss regarding on delete policies in urdu so on delete policy is to say the system what has to be done on deleting a record so currently in the screen we are seeing the patient master where i can define my patients in the database and if i jump to appointments here i can create appointment using the patient which i have created in an another table so that is we have got a relational field here called patient which is a many to one field to the patient model so here if i create a new patient called george in patient master i created a new patient called george and if i come to appointment table i can create a new appointment using the george i have created so by selecting the date i'm creating an appointment for george on 30th of june so what i have to do here is right now we have got one appointment for george and we have a patient called george now assume what will happen if i try to delete this patient called george and this george is already used inside this table so right now if i click on delete the field value will be empty so here you can see i believe your yeah, patient is a required field so i'll do one thing let's make it required false so previously i have just added here required equal to true so it's required in the database i'll just make it a non-required field so i'll just make it as a non-required field and let me just upgrade the app so from here i'll just upgrade the application so simply i have to show you i have i need a non-required field at the moment so i have simply added a required false so you may think by default it's required false then why i am giving so previously before my last upgrade here i have set it as a required true and simply i removed that so again to make it's false in database i have to specify forcefully i have to say it's a required false so which is done now now if i refresh and if you try to create you can see right now the patient is a non-required field in this model so we will come back to deleting the george so what happens if i try to delete george at the moment is this field value will get empty that is on delete set null there is an on delete po policy called set null will be happening so for ap0044 the patient is george and if i hit delete from here the field value value will be set as null so if i refresh you can see the patient is empty for this record that is set null is happening so assume a case we don't need to do that in case the patient is used inside any table i need to restrict the deletion of the record so right now if i try to delete sam it will allow me to delete but i should restrict it so what you can do is that you, along with the relational field you can add the policy called on delete then say on delete restrict restrict me from deleting the record so i'll just restart after adding the on delete policy now let's upgrade the module so that the change will reflect in the database so hospital management system has upgraded now i'll try to delete sam and we will see what happens so on clicking delete previously on george in the case of george it got deleted without any issue but right now you can see it's preventing the error message is a bit technical but it's not allowing me to delete the records here you can see the operation cannot be completed another model requires the record being deleted it says we cannot delete this another model is requiring this record that is appointment inside appointment this record of sam is used so you cannot delete at the moment so that's the working of on delete restrict now for example here we have sam so i have just deleted those appointments like i'm just deleting those appointments directly now if i try to delete sam there will not be any issues because the sam is not used anywhere i have already deleted those appointments and now the 
previous message will not come so i hope you understood the on delete restrict policy now i'll delete about on delete cascade so i'll create a new patient call let's say thomas i created thomas now i'll create an appointment for thomas on date let's say july 5th so appointment is created now what happens right now we have on delete restrict policy so obviously you need to get that validation error is now assume a case if i'm deleting a patient i need to delete the related appointments also like if i'm deleting the patient i need to delete his appointments also along with the deletion of patient appointments also has to be deleted so if that is your requirement you can give on delete cascade so you can just put on delete cascade so i have restarted the service and let's see what happens so i'll jump into apps menu and i'll upgrade oim hospital module so the module has been upgraded now if i come back to hms then to appointments here we have got one appointment with reference 46 now if i try to delete thomas it will allow me to delete even though there is appointment it will allow me to delete appointment so if i delete thomas the appointments also will get deleted so i'll click on delete and if i refresh here you will not see the appointment so this is the working of on delete policy in odoo so we have on delete cascade on delete restrict and on delete signal so for example if it is on delete required true so along with the required true i think we cannot use set null i just put set null over here and i think you will get a warning yes on delete policy has been set null only restrict and cascade makes sense so as it is a required field i cannot use set null so if it's a required false field i can use set null which is the default option by default set null so let me bring back that option set null now let me upgrade and see so once we set on delete policy as set null i have a patient i have an appointment for him now if i delete that patient the patient id field in the appointment will be empty so let's confirm that and finalize this video so i'll create one more patient called tom let's add one appointment for tom so i'll choose patient appointment so here there is one appointment for tom now if i try to delete tom it will get deleted and here it will be empty so let's refresh and confirm you can see patient is set null so this is working off on delete policy in odoo so we have three on delete policy on delete set null on delete cascade and on delete restrict so i hope you understood a fair idea about on delete policy in odoo so if you have any doubts feedback or suggestion please let us know you can directly drop a comment under the video even if you how like, like not about doubts if you like the video please do let us know that and please follow us in github and social medias like uh, linkedin twitter facebook and instagram and you can reach us in any time at automates at gmail.com and as i say always we have a whatsapp group uh, like a community group and if you like to join that uh, you can drop a comment and let us know in the email so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you